Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Before today's video gets rolling, I'd first like to thank you guys all so much for all your support. And also, I'd like to remind you guys to try and keep an open mind. You know, you never know what can happen in your world. Um, and today's video is exactly that for my world. I totally didn't expect what the day would end up being, but it is what it is. And sometimes things are just meant to be. And I believe that this is one of those cases. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you like this type of content, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe to see more videos like this. We are about to embark on a journey to Vancouver Island very shortly. Keep that in mind as well. Lots of adventure videos coming your way. But without further ado, here's the video. When I woke up on this morning, and seen snow on the ground, it quickly reminded me how fast I was running out of time. And it felt like everything was just going wrong. We never know what life has in store for us. From the good to the bad, sometimes in life, we're just long for the ride. And it's up to us to not give up. Good morning, everybody. It's been a couple days since I last spoke to the camera. And, uh, that's because we've just been trying to figure stuff out here. Uh, get my sister and dad a place to stay in Calgary. Hasn't been going as easy as expected. But yeah, that's the, just the way it is right now with uh, the housing market, I guess. Uh, and renting and all of that stuff. She also has a puppy, so trying to find a place that's pet friendly is a little more difficult. But yeah, um, one of the things we need to do right now, like right now, is uh, as you guys can see, we have snow on the ground. So my dad's tires are absolutely shot. Um, there's actually a belt broken in the tire and it wobbles on one of them. So we went and got him some new tires and we're going to try and swap them over today. With all of the tire places being completely booked, it's uh, it's been a struggle to even do that and get the tires swapped over. Like everything seems to be fighting us right now, um, but we are still trying to be on track for to get things done. Um, unfortunately, with everything being all over the place, it's a little tricky for um, making videos. But nonetheless, we're trying over here, you know. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna grab my dad's tires. And we're gonna go to U Wrench. My boy Mr. Blur just said that the place is open and we can get the tires swapped over. So that's what we're gonna do for our morning. And then we can get into showing you guys about what we all got done on the back of the van here and update you guys on that. So we're just about done with the van building back here to the point where we can leave for Vancouver Island. Time's running out. We don't have a place for my dad and my sister. They might end up coming with us. We're not too sure. Ugh. And I need a shower. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna grab the tires right now, load up, and then head over to U Wrench and try and get these things swapped over before the place gets slammed busy like everything else is right now. So let's go do that and then I'll check in with you guys in a few minutes. We get the tires all loaded up. Time to get moving. Hopefully that bay is still open when we get there. And then uh, we can get these tires put on right away. Because uh, everywhere else has been completely booked up. Very unfortunate. But it is what it is. So we're going to try and switch these tires over. <sighs> Come on. Let's have one day where everything that we plan goes according to plan. Please. Like I said, time is running out. Um, technically, I was wanting to leave tomorrow. Today is Tuesday um, in my time. And uh, it's looking more like we're going to be leaving Friday just because we have so much stuff to still finish up. Um, hopefully, I don't run out of gas again. I ran out of gas the other day. Um, I had to run to go get the jerry can. Uh, just like I said, everything lately has just been kind of fighting me, but um, we're going to make it either way, I don't care. Um, the way it's looking is I will probably be rolling into Vancouver Island um, with like... 
has just been fighting me. Um, but I said I was going there. I said I was going to get there. But dang it, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to make sure I get there. We'll figure the rest out later. Um, and my boy Ben is actually in Vancouver Island right now. And he sent me a picture of Campbell Rivers Beach. And I was like, looks so, so nice. Uh, compared to what we're looking at right here. So I'm very excited to head that way. I know the rain season is definitely coming into Vancouver Island. Um, I've seen a couple clips of like flooding all over the place down there. But we'll deal with that. <laughs> I'm from an island myself, so I'm, you know, I'm not a stranger to rain and floods, so. But, it's not minus 6 million over there. Last year's minus 50. Uh, I don't want to do that again, you know. Going to Vancouver Island for the winter may be the best move. I'm not exactly sure how long I'm going to stay there. I plan to stay there as long as I can. Uh, when I get there, I'm obviously going to need to do enough to come back, so there's that. You know, I'm going to be there at least that long. <laughs> so, but we'll figure all that out when we get there. Um, I still got a little bit of van maintenance to do on my van. Uh, once we get my dad's tires swapped over, if they end up coming with us, we may need to get him an axle because uh, even our boy Randy, who came by, um, helped me install the the diesel heater as you guys will see um or you guys might have already seen i don't even know anymore more where i am in the videos but yeah uh even my boy randy said that he needs to replace an axle in that thing so if you know oh my god i really need to do something with my hair but i just don't have time and i just I don't have time to run off and grab a shower at because that'll take like an hour or two of my day and we got too much to do so maybe later on this evening we can go for a shower if we can get our day done the way we planned it so yeah that's how my exhaust is not fixed as you can hear I haven't gotten to that yet so yeah like I said I've got some maintenance to do on my van yet still um it is what it is you know we'll make it see how I'm just rambling this has been me lately and this is why it's been a little bit tricky for making videos and stuff and editing because I really don't know where I am right now and what I'm doing I have somewhat of an idea and that's about it so most of you guys know I literally wing it through most of what I do and this is absolutely one of those situations uh, it's been day by day trying to figure stuff out and yeah Every day is a different plan kind of thing, you know? So I can't really, I didn't want to make a video about something that I was, you know, say we were going to do something one day and it was like, all right, we're going to look at a van for my dad and sister to upgrade into their van instead of being in such a small vehicle. Next day we go look at a place. Now everyone's confused. What are they going for? A house or a van? So, you can understand my frustration in why I didn't release videos explaining how we were going through that process. Because, realistically, we don't know. We're just, we're open for anything right now. And uh, that's just how it's going. So, such as, and they might even be coming to Vancouver Island with us. Could be possible. I mean can't find a place in Calgary um, then they're still gonna be in the van 
they're still in the van. Calgary gets cold. You guys know that. You guys have seen my videos on how cold Calgary gets. Um, I don't want them to have to go through that. In a, you know, they're not prepared. The van's not insulated. It doesn't have a heater yet. Uh, we weren't even sure if they were going to be keeping that current van they're living in. Um, so I didn't want to cut a hole in it and make a or install a heater because if they end up selling it, the resale value goes down. Just those things, you know, all of, have just been all over the place. So, but with the running out of time, I took the wrong turn. But with the running out of time, um, we're kind of left with not many options besides. Not left with many options besides um, what we're doing, you know. Uh, nope, didn't do the power steering fluid either. Or didn't do the power steering fix. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. My hair tells a story. just show me doing the tires and then we'll catch up with you guys when we get back to Austin's. Who knows? I'll see you in a bit. at u wrench just over here unfortunately their tire machines out of service so they suggested us to these guys best choice tire and auto detailing they got us in right away 90 bucks all the tires switched over the vans over here right now getting the tires swapped perfect switched them out and then we are back to the garage to do a bunch of stuff I'll get you guys all caught up on what we did to the van to this point while the tires are getting swapped out and we'll catch up with you guys again when we get back to the garage with fresh tires on that van. That's how I planned this video to go. I was going to swap the tires and then catch you guys all up to date on what I've done to the inside of my van. But little did I know yeah. that life had a little trick up its sleeve for us. <laughs> New tire goofing. Roast them. Thank you guys. <laughs> Wake it. Alright, you guys. Look at them over there. New tire goofing. Alright. Super cool. So, now that they've got their tires on, and after this video, we should be basically ready to um, head to Vancouver Island. Whew, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a trip, I tell you what. But, it's gonna be, everything is gonna be all right. The stuff we can't do before we leave, I'll try and get the parts, um, so that if we need to, and we can do it on the road kind of thing, uh, I'm thinking that'll be the case for my power steering and also my dad's possible axle. Um, if we can get the power steering stuff and the axle, I'd feel a lot more comfortable with being on the road because those two things, if something were to happen, we can switch them out on the road or if we find ourselves sitting for a couple days in a certain spot, then we can tackle those things when that time comes. 
Uh, if not, and everything works well, we can switch them out with our time in Vancouver Island. So, yeah, we'll see how it all goes. Right now, we are totally just freaking winging it, you know. We're gonna head back to Austin's right now, and then I'll show you guys more of what we got going on back here. Fun fact about Austin's garage. This is not the first time that I've built a vehicle in this driveway or garage. I've actually built a 30 foot camper trailer and built into a tiny home at one point in this exact spot, and also my Cutlass Supreme in this very garage. So in a way, even building this van here has that little bit of nostalgia for me. Once we got back to Austin's, I jumped right into action and prepped as much as I could for our trip to Vancouver Island, starting with an oil change on my van and my dad and sister's van as well, a full check over of both vehicles, and any final touches that I could think about. There are many things that I was not able to get done, but there are a lot of things that we did do as well even if some of those things turned out to be a longer temporary fix. I still made sure to do as much as I could with the time that I had. Just like the exhaust here, it's not a permanent fix, but with the amount of high heat silicone I have on here and a few screws, I don't think it'll be going anywhere anytime soon. And hopefully it lasts until I can one day put a full fresh exhaust underneath this van. And who knows, maybe then we can add an exhaust cutout for that hot rod effect. Along with van maintenance, I also managed to go through the garage and neatly pack everything that I would need for on the road, such as power tools, all of my electrical stuff, extra fuses and connections, even some lights. Over here we have the diesel heater. This is actually the one that Chrome from Van City Van Life gave me many years ago and got me started in these diesel heaters. I still have all the original connections and even a fresh computer motherboard and screen to swap out if ever needed. The reason I'm taking this diesel heater is because along the road that might be the one that will be going into the Honda. Or so I thought. For a ride. Let's go for a ride. You doing good, little Petey? Let's see if I were to do this with a dog of my own. I would definitely invest in something like a little seatbelt for him to attach to the desk. But for right now, I mean, this little guy here go for a test run and grab a coffee. Come on. Let's go. The next morning, our plans got turned completely upside down once again. Like I mentioned before, my dad and my sister have both been living in this Honda Odyssey. They've traveled from Newfoundland all the way up to Calgary, Alberta, and are planning to stay in Alberta. But my dad would like to continue living the van life. My sister, on the other hand, would like to move into a place. The initial plan was for my sister to get a place and my dad to continue living his van life in this van. On this day, we finally found a place for my sister. It might be only a temporary solution, but right now, it'll do. On top of that, my dad no longer will be staying in this van for his van life.
This was our speaker. This person's here to look at it too, I bet. Okay, you guys, I'd like to, we're gonna totally change the course and direction of this video. I, wow, I did not, it, listen, it's been a lot going on here, okay? Let me fill you guys in. So, in the last video clip, I believe I was showing you guys us putting tires on my dad's minivan, right? Well, let me tell you a story. So, my dad really wants to continue living the van life. My sister, not so much, but my dad does for sure. So, we kind of found a spot for my sister. It's not full time, but it, you know, it, it'll do. It'll do perfect for right now. On top of that, I don't even know how to say this, you guys. I really don't. We just made a massive decision um, that will totally change the course of my dad's um, van life. So he was initially thinking to come with us to Vancouver Island in the Honda Odyssey, which is all fine, but that thing is pretty tight. And right now, him and my sister are living in that van. They're still gonna keep the minivan. But, we just went and looked at and purchased a full-time van life home it, it's a dream home for my dad. It wasn't cheap, but with my dad being at the age that he is, he has back issues. He really needed something that he can stand up in. I'll say that. And with that being said, you know, even a van like mine right now, it's still a low top, so he could live in it. He could, but to have like something with a little higher roof would totally change the game for him and make his van life that much more easy, relaxing, and uh, give comfort. So, so that's what we did. <laughs> so we went. And we've seen a van on Marketplace. As you guys know, I'm always scrolling Marketplace. I don't think that'll ever stop for me. I'm always looking for station wagons or a million other things that I can't afford or won't fit my life right now. Nonetheless, sometimes you come across a dream deal. <laughs> and um, those dream deals, they don't come around often. And... Sometimes things are just means are just meant to be. And I I fully believe that this is one of those moments that is completely meant to be. Um, like I said, my dad would need a little more space than myself for living in a van. And me, Mr. Blur. And I think many other people are going to be quite jealous with what we just picked up for him. Um, the minivan still, we got the tires done on that minivan. Since we put those tires on the van, it's still good because my sister has wheels now, which is great, you know. We are able to leave my sister here in Calgary with a set of wheels so she can get around through it the winter. But what my dad just got Like literally we had to drop it off and then come back and get my van. That's what I'm in the middle of doing right now. Um, he 
he's literally still sitting back there in shock looking at it like I'm I'm totally in shock the woman that we got the van from I'll just say it we got my dad a van okay it, it's the most amazing thing that I've ever seen I'm totally jealous um, it's a dream come true for my dad for me to be able to see my dad in such a thing like that is a dream come true for me also this allows my dad to follow along with us on this van life adventure which is wild you know to be able to spend that with my father it means the world to me like a hundred percent means the world to me and um seeing his smile when he first laid eyes on this van that was the yes that i needed like even i took it for a test drive everything seems fine it's ways it has power steering it drives it drives better than mine for dang sakes you know um it's it's completely mine to park my van on the street because near Austin's doesn't have much parking anyway. And right now we've got three vans sitting in front of the garage. It's quite a tight situation, but uh, let's check it out. This is amazing, you guys know? This is the van that they've been cruising in so far. Now this is my dad's new home. This is amazing. She needs a couple things done to her, but for the most part, it's everything we could have asked for. So it's a Van Dura 1500 GMC, just like mine, but it has a high top so that he can stand up perfectly fine in there. It's got foot rails so we can hop in, and everything is beautiful about it. It has some solar panels on top. It needs a roof vent fixed up over here. But overall, it's pretty beautiful. Let's go around and check out the inside. You got the sliding door on it. And a full build out. Even a jackery. Check that out. What do you think of your new home there, Pops? Hey, my son. Right? <laughs> well, son. He's got a Bouge RV fridge down in here. Storage up top with some little view windows. Full bed, dresser, even a sink. And lots of storage in this thing. Check this out. In here, under there, is where we're probably going to install a diesel heater and have it poke out through here. Check it out. Dad mentioned he's already not a fan of the wallpaper, but it's easy to pull this stuff off and then repaint it. Yeah. This is the roof vent that needs to be fixed up. In the hailstorm that Calgary had, it just shattered. So we'll get a replacement one of those. It's got some lights wired into it. And overall, it's a pretty good haul, man. Eh? Uh, yeah. Everything every bit of history on this van for its entire life has been documented it's got a stereo pd seems to enjoy the driver's seat <laughs> yeah and she's got a little bit of everything Wicked, wicked, wicked. It's got these bubble windows. You cannot see them from the inside, but the woman said she just put the backing board over them. So we're going to cut that hole out on the inside so he has access to those windows. If you come around here, you got good tires. Got a spare tire on the back. That spare tire is actually in good shape as well. And uh, I'll climb on the roof here in a little bit, and I'll show you guys the roof end that needs to be replaced. We are going to come in here, tighten a few of these guys up, and then give a full fresh seal across the entire uh, seam of the roof. 
over here. This goes to nothing. So we're gonna be filling that in. And I did not install my NOCO wall plug charger. So I think we're going to be replacing this one with that. So he has a fresh unit. But yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Now it's time to make this thing legit. The woman drove it here for us, thankfully. Um, so yeah, now it's just time to get it all legit. My sister's on the phone right now with the insurance. We're gonna get it all registered. We're planning to leave for Vancouver Island tomorrow. So we will see how everything goes about trying to stay on schedule for that. But even if we're a little bit behind, which we're hoping we won't be, I think it's all worth it. What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, wow. Like, I'm standing up in a van right now. That's going to help for his back big time. Got enough room down here to do the stretches. Yep. yep. Huh? Yep. He seems to be right at home already. <laughs> it actually has window blockers on it. There's a window blocker right here. These just clip in. Super cool. So we're going to get them all cleaned up and moved in. Get all of the stuff out of the minivan and into here. And then we'll check in with you guys when it's a little more homey on the inside of there. And hopefully I've got something done with my hair. We'll see you guys in a bit. That's why he needs a high top. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he needs a high top. <laughs> the knees wouldn't handle a low top van, man. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, you guys, we're here at Canadian Tire. One of the things that we need to do on Dad's new van is fix that roof vent that smashed in a hailstorm. So we're gonna run in right now and see if we can get him a new roof vent. This is literally all that's left to it. <laughs> there wasn't much. <laughs> Hey you guys, we got the roof vent cover. Gotta be specific when you get these, they've changed over the years. So I like bringing in the old bracket to make sure you get the exact same style. There's a couple different styles, but this one will work for us. On top of that, we got some clear silicone. And then we can walk right over that uh, whole high top and anywhere that needs it, we can reseal it up. Where we're gonna be going to Vancouver Island, we definitely need to make sure that that thing is watertight. So, we'll get this done as soon as possible. Whew! Wicked, wicked, wicked. Sleeping in your own home tonight? In style! Yeah. 
you guys, we're back in the garage. Time to add this. This is my dad's first drive in his new van. What is that? Can you see? Oh, just a bit. Just a bit? Okay, we got Justin Mears. Because I took it for a test drive and we all looked it over. But this is his first official drive in his new home. <laughs> yeah, I'll go hop in my van and you can follow me. Yeah. I got my keys. Yeah, I got my keys. Okay, you guys, let's go for a coffee. And uh, we're gonna go park for the evening. My sister's gone in the Honda to go grab some groceries for the evening. Me and my dad are gonna go grab a coffee park at a park we've been sleeping at for a little while since we've been in Calgary basically um, and then uh, take it easy for the night tomorrow I believe if all is still going according to plan we're headed for Vancouver Island and I'm very excited about that so uh, yeah it's gonna be and this t puts a whole new twist to the entire um, adventure you know like not only do I get to have my dad come with me he's now gonna be comfortable and it's gonna be his first adventure in his new home it's like the stuff stories are made of you know like it's a beautiful thing it truly is a beautiful thing I'm very excited to be able to share this with him. Um, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be, this, this is mind blowing. This is mind blowing. I wanna give a huge shout out to the woman who sold him this van. I believe she will be watching the channel. And uh, regardless of what happens from here on out to the van, things happen to vehicles, you know. Right now, the thing's running and driving flawlessly. And uh, I have a feeling it will for quite some time due to all of the love that you gave it. So I just want to thank you for putting a smile on my dad's face and giving him a, um, a home. You know, this is much more than just a van. I know when she was building it, she was mentioning how much she loved that van and it broke her heart to get rid of it. And uh, just know that that van is definitely going to a wonderful home. From here on out, I've got my dad with me, you know, living the van life. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a truly beautiful thing to be able to have him come along with me. I'm so excited for it. And um, it's it's made possible thanks to all of you guys watching and that wonderful woman who sold him that van. So thank you so, so much for making this possible. For me, for him, um, for the family, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really wonderful. So yeah, we're gonna go grab a coffee right now and um, see what the rest of the evening in, has in store for us.
looks like I'm going over to my dad's place for a coffee, apparently. Let's do it. Oh, I grab my keys. I'm not used to leaving my van. Usually, everybody who comes over to my place to say hi. This time, I'm going over to his. Little change in pace. I don't like it. He's got the sliding door. Hang on. I'm gonna do this all at once. What are you doing, Petey? What are you doing, Petey? You like to ride? Okay everybody, after that huge update and sharing the news about my dad's new van home, we are about to embark on an adventure back to Vancouver Island for another very special reason that you will all see in the next upcoming videos. But until next time, remember, never give up on living life because life is the most precious thing we have. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.